women, ladies, get closer here. I want to draw your attention to something. There is um, this misunderstanding that happens when a man is gifting a lady, a woman, or a girl. Okay? There is this misunderstanding that, that happens. All right. Let me take it slowly, one at a time. First of all, I want to treat the one that innocent people are giving you gifts. They are just supporting you. Let's say a man, a married man sees a lady or a, you know a lady and he wants to help this lady he doesn't have any feelings towards the lady as to date her or to take her to bed or anything you get he just saw this person and liked her and wants to assist the person and that's just it especially when the person assisting you or the person that's giving you the support is married and as this person is supporting you, you know, giving you all the necessary things that you need to move your life to help you, maybe in educational aspects, you know, and otherwise, and other things that you need. The person is supporting you, you know, giving you some gifts and order for you to put yourself together and take care of yourself. Now, instead of you to appreciate what this man is doing for you, just appreciate him. What I mean, appreciating, like, Take it that, oh, this man just saw me and he offered to help me. And that is it. There are some things that some women do. When a man offers to help like this, when they offer to help like this, you see them turning situation around. They will start seducing the man. They will now start, you know, when the man calls them to come and maybe come and pick up the money he wants to give to her to do some things, you will see how she will dress half naked to go and collect the money. What, what signal are you sending to the man? He should start toasting you. He should start coming after you. You are telling him that you are valuable, that he should look at you. This is someone that decided on his own that he, he wants to assist you, that he wants to help you. He did not ask you, sleep with me. He did not ask you that he wants to date you. He did not say, date me or be in a relationship with me. No, he didn't say all this. You only call the attention, I, I will support you the way, the best way I can. Any way I can, I can help you. Now you, are, you want to start sleeping with this man. For what? Why are we ungrateful? Women, why are we ungrateful? You know that this man is married. Why do you want to spoil his marriage? Why do you want to scatter his marriage? Why do you want to bring problem to his marriage? Why don't you stick to the help he's helping you and don't seduce him? When you want to go to such a man, you dress decently. Cover yourself up. Dress well. Dress decently and go. And go and collect the money he wants to give you. Or anything that he feels, oh, come and collect. Instead of you dressing, dressing somehow. And by the time you get there, the wife that is even supporting him to help you. When I say, ah, is this the person you're helping that dressed like this to come to my house? Or to dress like this to come and collect what you say he, she should come and take? No, 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 no. This won't happen. You see, it will not be as if the wife is a bad person, right? Meanwhile, you are the one who initiated this, this, this nonsense. The man asks you to come and pick up something he wants to use to assist you. So of you to dress where you dress anyhow to go there. What do you want the wife to think? Before they know it, now they say, women, why is she not feeling uh, 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 uncomfortable? Because I dressed and, and came to collect something. Because I came to collect something. You won't tell people how you dressed to go and collect that particular thing. And you won't tell people the behavior that you put up in front of the wife. That will make the wife to now accuse the husband. It seems you're having something to do with this girl. You will see a, a full-fledged woman that is in her house. Even to greet her will, will become a problem. You don't... Greeting her. What do you want her to think? You are sending wrong signals to her. So if you to go there, chair up. Oh, good afternoon, ma. Uh, uh, um, or your husband or guy asked me to come and collect something. I'm happy to meet you, ma. You know, he said you'll be given the woman that's in her house attitude when her husband called it me to come and pick up something. And tomorrow they will say, ah, women, married women, they are this one, they are that one. Why will you yourself not behave well? Why won't you behave well? And stop sending wrong signals so that the wife will not accuse the man. Now, another thing I want to talk about is, though 
not all married men are, 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 are innocent about this. Some draw uh, some ladies' attention in order. They, they start gifting her, start sending her some things that will help you and all that. It, uh, their aim is just to lure the person to their bed. Please, when you see such a man that is giving you gifts without real intention, without a good intention, please run away. Resist the gift. Tell him thank you. Okay? Or if he must give you, let him give you that gift through his wife. That is the best way to go about it. Now, another one I want to talk about is single guys who have seen a particular lady, a girl, or woman to help out. You know? And this single guy has been helping this girl. He doesn't have any intention of marrying her. He doesn't have the intention of sleeping with her or any other, you know. He just wants to help this girl. Then <clears throat> the girl, when she messes up with her friends, they will start telling her, ah, this brother is giving you this. Hey, that means he's interested in you. Do that one, do that one to seduce him. Yeah, he should start dating, you know. They start putting evil thoughts into that person. Please reject them. Don't do what they're asking you to do. That person offered to help you and did not ask you to sleep with him. So don't flaunt yourself when he has not asked you to flaunt it. Don't make yourself cheap when he has not asked you. If you flaunt yourself and make yourself cheap, he is going to leave you. Even though, like, even though he, he might fall in love with you later, maybe decide to marry you or something like that, allow that feeling to come out naturally. Don't force it. Don't go seducing him. If you seduce him, he will end up sleeping with you and not building anything tangible or building any relationship with you. That is how it's going to end. So you need to be careful. You need to be careful the kind of advice, bad advice you take from your friends, especially when you force a guy taking care of you who has promised to take care of you and then they are telling you to seduce him. Do that one. If you don't do it, another girl will do it and you will be there. Hell no, don't listen to such friends. They are not good friends. Okay, stick to what the man has promised you and don't deceive yourself. Don't flaunt yourself. Don't go seducing. It may not end well. You won't like the end thereof. Okay, then another one I want to talk about is um, uh, mothers. Mothers that support their, their, their daughters collecting something from men. Um, I am not saying you should not allow your daughter to take something when the person is genuine. When the person is, is genuine, does not have any, any bad intention behind what he's given, you can freely take the gift from the person. Say the person um, did not ask you to do anything before. The person had just said, okay, I just want to take care of you and your family. You know, the person is giving you, just be careful, okay, and let your mother know. It's good you let your mother know, oh, this brother is helping me. He has for anything. He just said he wants to help me or see me through my education. Let your mother know, okay, so that your mother will also be in the lookout or in the watcher so that things doesn't go wrong. Now, there are also bad mothers that they will even instigate you to go and sleep with such a man, whether single or married. They will tell you, ah, He's taking care of us. He's doing that one. Go out, go and do that one. Ah, you better seduce him. You better sleep with him. If you don't do it, another girl will take him away from us. Hell no. If you're, if you're in that kind of situation, don't listen to what that your mother is saying. What she's giving you is wrong advice. Bad advice. So don't listen to her. Okay? Don't listen to her. Because if you listen to her, you will regret it. Later in this life, you will regret it. If it gets to a point that your mother will say, sleep with this person it doesn't matter it doesn't mean everybody is doing it every girl is doing it my darling if you ask my opinion i will say stop collecting tell the brother thank you so much i don't want the gifts anymore okay so that it doesn't bring problem between you and your mother just end it just stop collecting whatever the person has come and say oh just me the person brother you've tried so much i really appreciate your effort you're supporting me a lot but please i don't want it anymore thank you and god bless you Okay, and hey, you guy that will be giving a girl or a woman, a lady, something with a bad intention to draw the person close, to sleep with the person, not that you love the person, not that you like the person, it's just to take the person to your bed. What are you thinking? What are you thinking? Where is your conscience? Have you sold it? Have you sold your conscience? Why should you do such a thing? Please, does this from such evil art is not good. Okay, it's not good. Then for, for women, 
if you know for girls especially secondary school girls they are the ones that really really misunderstand this whole thing when one brother start giving them something they feel the brother is in love with them they feel the brother wants to sleep with them they feel the brother wants to marry them please for the fact that a man is giving you a gift does not mean he likes you as in does not mean he's in love with you does not mean that he wants to sleep with you does not mean that he wants to marry you he just offered to assist you. He just wants to help you. That's all. Don't listen to bad friends. Okay? Don't listen to them. And don't go seducing the man. Especially when you see a good man who has offered to help you. Appreciate that person by behaving yourself. That is what you can do for that person. Okay? Behaving yourself and respecting the wife. There are some when uh, the man, if he's a married man, when once he starts helping you, you will not have respect for the wife again. If you see the wife, you not greet the wife through the nose. It's not good. It's not right. Stop making people to look bad when they are actually good. When they are actually good people. All right? So behave yourselves. Okay? Um, please. Please and please. Don't listen to anybody who wants to give you a gift just to take you to bed. That person is not a good person. Run away from such a person. And another thing I want to say is when a man is giving you a gift, genuinely, he's not thinking about anything. He came genuinely to just assist you and you flaunt yourself or you seduce the person or you do some other things for the person to fall in love with you and marry you at the end of the day. Do you know, it's one of these stories that we hear, you will see a man uh, testing another woman or calling another, another woman telling the woman I don't love that woman or that, that, that's that one that one I'm living with I don't love her or that my wife I don't love her you know uh, maybe she seduced me or she did that one she did that one that is what brings that kind of case but if it's a man that you did not seduce you did not do anything he came after you that man will always respect you he will always respect you and say oh hmm this is my wife. Do you know what it took me to get her? He will also cherish you. All right? So don't make yourself cheap, women, please. We are treasures. Okay? We are treasures. That is what we are. So keep yourself. Keep yourself. It's not one little gift one brother gives you. Then you start throwing yourself at the brother. Here I come. This is me. No. Don't do it. All right? So... And another thing I want to talk about is married men that give the gift with bad intention. Please stop gifting um, women or ladies or some girls gifts in order to what, take them to bed. It is very wrong. Please let us sanitize our community. Stop all this evil act, all this evil intention. Okay, it will really go a, a long way in sanitizing our little ones so that they don't think that when a man is... And okay, another thing I want to talk about is women, like mothers, sit your girls down, talk to them, tell them, educate them on these things. Tell them that for the fact that a man is assisting you or, or that he's giving you a gift does not mean that he has fallen in love with you. When you go to school and your friends tell you, oh, he's giving you this. Is it this brother that bought you this? Is it the one that got you this? Hey, that means he's in love with you. Don't let him go. Hold him more. And you tell them, ah, see, they say, ah, no, he's there. Oh, ah, that one, do that one, do that one. Don't do such. Don't listen to such friends. They are not good friends, okay? They will end up spoiling your relationship with that person. They will end up stop that good thing that is coming your way. Okay, my name is Olivia, and this is Getting It Right with Olivia. I must tell you this also. There are single guys who are giving you those gifts to draw you closer. Maybe they don't know how to toast a girl. You know, some men don't know how to go after a girl confessing their love and all that. Maybe they just want to use that gift or that assistance to draw you close so that they can relate what they are feeling to you. You know, so in that aspect, they are using that gift but not badly. They just want to use it to bring you close so that they can tell you what they feel because they are the type that doesn't know how to toast a woman or how to stop a woman on the way and say, hey, I love you, I'm in love with you, my name is this and all that, you know. Some men are not good at that. 
So if he's that type, he's giving you, he's assisting you, or he's giving you those gifts to bring you close. All you need to do is wait. Wait for him to talk. Wait for him to say what he actually wants. Okay? Through that, you guys can actually establish establish uh, something serious. Establish strong relationship or it may end in marriage. You guys can end up getting married. But then, don't move too fast. Slow down. Okay? Slow down and watch things unfold. Definitely, one day, as he's giving you those gifts, he's watching you. He's watching your moves, your actions, how you're reacting to them. He's also watching your character, your behavior, everything, your personality. So keep it cool. Just keep it cool, okay? So that you don't fuck up, so that you don't mess things up, all right? So allow him to, to move as he wants to move, no? You know? So one day, he will definitely confess what he's feeling. He will tell you, hey, girl, I want to marry you. Would you like to marry me, Okay. I love everything about you. I want this and all that. He will confess it to you. But when you go flaunting yourself, just watch out for such a man that has that kind of intention. He just wants to be happy. You, you know, he doesn't want you to mess around. He just wants to be happy to bring you close to himself. And then you are flaunting yourself to him. You are not dressing half naked. You want to go and see him. He calls you, come and say, this, I've got this for you. And you dress anyhow. You dress that while you're showing them here. You're showing them. You go there. Do you know it can make that man to lose interest in you? Yes, that's what it does. My name is Olivia and this is Getting a Trial with Olivia. See you again in my next video. Cheers.